determiners. It reminds me of Transformers for some reason, but it has nothing to do with that. Anyway, today we're going to talk about determiners, which are basically articles and pronouns and possessive pronouns. And when you use them, you can only use one. And people sometimes have a habit of using more than one when they're learning the language. So I'm here to explain what they are, the list of them, and show you a few sentences of how to use them properly and how they narrow the meaning of sentences if you use them correctly. And you can only use one determiner for each noun. So you can have more than one determiner in a sentence, but for each noun you have, you will only use one. So if you're replacing the noun with a word like mine, you'll only have one. Or if you're using a word like apple, you'll only have one in front of it. So let's begin. The articles are a, an, and the. The demonstrative determiners are this, that, these, those. The possessive determiners are my, your, his, her, its, are. Demonstrative pronouns are this, that, these, those. The possessive pronouns are mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours. The possessive pronouns, they replace the nouns. And let's get to some example sentences. I ate an apple. I ate that apple. He ate his apple. I ate my apple. I ate this apple. I ate mine. Now, for the most part, the sentences are saying very similar things, except he ate his apple kind of stands out because it's talking about a different person other than yourself. In most of these sentences, I'm talking about an apple that I ate. And in each one, you get a little bit more detail. An apple just could be any apple at all. That apple is specifying one that I'm either pointing at or you can see or that was referred to in a uh, previous sentence. When it's his apple, it's showing that he owns it. The same thing is when I have my apple, I'm showing that it was my apple. And this apple is pretty much like when I'm using the sentence that apple, it's just basically pointing to the apple that is there. In I ate mine, it assumes that you should already know what the noun was previously in like a previous sentence. So if I had a sentence like he ate his apple and then followed it by I ate mine you would generally know that I that mine is returning is referring to apple so in the next sentence I will buy a ticket I will buy a ticket pretty simple we're just using the article a uh, in the next sentence, we're just switching it up just a smidge. I will buy this ticket. This ticket or a ticket. They're similar sentences, but when you say I will buy a ticket, somebody might not know what you're referring to. And when we're saying this ticket, there's a clear indication of which ticket you're either pointing at or indicating. I will buy your ticket. Now with the sentence by itself it's hard to tell which ticket you're going to buy. Whether you're buying the ticket from them or you're buying the ticket for them. So another way to say I will buy your ticket or a couple of ways are I will buy a ticket for you. 
I will buy a ticket from you. And when you do this, instead of I will buy your ticket, where it's a little cloudy as to who you're referring to or what, when you say I will buy a ticket for you, you're indicating that you're going to give them a ticket. You're going to purchase it for them. It's like a present or a gift, something like that. And when you're using this one, I will buy a ticket from you, you're clearly indicating that you're going to buy the ticket that they have. So it makes a, it a little bit more clear than I will buy your ticket. I will buy yours also does the same thing. It indicates that I'm buying the ticket that you have. Now, if you want to indicate that he's or I'm paying for two tickets, one for myself and one for somebody else, you would use, I will buy mine and yours. In, in the, this sentence, mine and yours replace tickets. So it would say, I would buy a ticket for me and a ticket for you. That's the long way to do it. And hey, thanks for visiting. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Feel free to ask any questions or suggest future topics in the comments. And I'm, again, sorry for not posting that, that many videos. And I will try to explain the grammatical rules going forward a little bit more clear, as well as include the grammatical sentences. And what I'm debating about whether what to do or not is I'm thinking about posting the videos as podcast so that way if you have no way of watching them but you can listen that it might also be a blessing to you that way if you're interested let me know leave a comment a like anyway i hope this has helped you if you have any questions feel free to ask thank you and have a wonderful night